Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Look what I got today. We've got some Mo You London products. So um, they've got, once again, a little sale going on and I thought, why not go ahead and grab some more because why not grab yourself a little sale and get some affordable stuff, you know, get some good stuff for a cheap price. Why not? We all love a good sale. So um i got some more plates and <laughs> funny enough they actually had a few botanical collection on sale which i love this collection so i was so excited that these were on sale so i got my hands on these um i did get a few of these for when i first came out like full price the b1 i got and some other floral ones so yeah really excited i love the packaging oh my gosh guys the packaging oh okay right I'm getting too excited. Let's crack on with maybe the polishes first. Get them out of the way. And then we can look at the beautiful plates. So we've got five polishes to show you today. Five polishes. I do have to say there's one thing I wish with Moya London polishes were a bit more pigmented. Some of them just doesn't hit right for me. Um, yeah, I just feel like the clear jelly are always pigmented no matter what. And these are kind of hit and miss. So if you guys are looking for 100% quality, I'd probably go to Clear Jelly. But I love the packaging on these. And I just love how much you get on these. And yeah, I just like them. I love I love to display these in particular. Um, but I definitely want to have the whole Mogi London collection. And I definitely want the whole Clear Jelly collection. But the Clear Jelly collection will have to come in its own time. Because your girl needs to save up so much more, some more money <laughs> to get them. So for now, it's going to be Mogi. And also because clear jelly is in the, I think it's in Canada or the US, it's a bit harder for me to get them here. So for now, it's going to be the Mo You London. This one is called In The Nude. So of course, in, within the name, it's going to, going to be a nude. Um, if you don't know with the bottles, some of the caps come off, some of them don't. So I don't know what the deal there is, but it's a beautiful nude, literally. Like a very nice peachy, peachy nude, this one like a peachy more like a tan skin color <laughs> so that's what they look like um you can get little balls to kind of mix them up as you can see there's a bit of separation going on but that's very normal actually with these clear jelly has the same thing going on with theirs i've got a little 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 like collection of the clear jelly ones and the same thing happens so this one's very unique this one's called avalon pearl and it's definitely a pearly color another one that comes off so this one's like a whitey pearly color Ooh a nice green reflection when the light hits it oh it's a beautiful green mm -mm. okay i like this one i like this one very much okay three more to go this one's going to be a purple let's have a look oh like a pearly glittery purple this one's called purple house and this one okay this one the cap works which is lovely to see oh that's a really pretty purple this could be quite cool actually for halloween this color like some cute purpley Halloween stamping, which would be kind of cool. We've got those. Once again, sorry guys for um, my gloves. I'm filming a few videos today. I just created a little 3D flower design. So that's why I've got these. And I thought I would do a quick haul so I can pop all of these things away. So this is the second haul I'm filming with my uh, 40 like carving gel on my gloves. So please excuse that one. We've got two more to see now. This one is a green, which is always very helpful. This one's called Olive Tree. I feel like the name really matches it. Does this open? It does with the cap. Beautiful. Very nice green, like a pale, like a dirty green, you could say. It's given me. But yeah, greens are always a must when you're doing like florals and stamping. With, with stamping, I feel like florals are always like the go-to. So highly recommend. I might pop them on the side so you can still see in the background the colors and lastly we've got a beautiful red this one seems to have been in a little collection because the packaging itself is different and i like that it has the name on them too this one's probably going to be a rusty red <laughs> based on the name it's fine if we it's fine if we um wreck the packaging because i don't keep them in the packaging anyway so let's just triple check uh, this one is indeed called rusty red and it's a very deep red this one opens up like this and this red i would definitely see as like a proper halloween color too like like doing some bloody like stains on the nails and stuff like that this one oh yeah or some very like deep hearts on the nail as well this one would definitely 
be amazing for that so we've got these um a bit of a mixture of colors they don't really seem to have a little like theme but nor do the plates because they are all literally all different and crazy so let's start with the one at the front which is called fall in love collection really nice this one is what number number six i think yeah number six so ready this one is a layered stamp which is really cool i love a good layered stamp and the reason i got this one was i love when buying look well shopping for plates they show you the different nail kind of designs you can create with this one and especially when they're layered it's really nice to see what kind of examples they've got and they've, and they've got really cool moth designs on there i just really like the vibe for this one we've got some pumpkins um some of course leaves and i thought this one was really cute so i thought why not give um give it well give it get it <laughs> and um do some really cool fall nail designs so that's really nice let's have a look at the back i love the back this one's beautiful you see some of them are quite boring in the back um i feel like they should do all of these very like some of them have a really nice cover but then the back of the plate is not very nice so you see in a moment i'll show you guys but yeah i really like this one highly recommend there's that one here we've got mother nature collection stamping nail art plate collection by mogi london so this is number 15 and this one's got beautiful little flowers and leaves and all sorts of different like shapes and sizes of those and they're really cute i just thought i could really do something really nice with those and what's cool with those too once you pick it up on your stamper you can actually color them in and like have like a almost like a layered stamping which is really cool too so i'll show you guys how to do that probably in a few videos of my upcoming videos um and yeah we'll just give them a little whirl i'll try and kind of use all of them in a nail design at some point my little mission because i keep buying and i'm not using so that's what we need to do oh yeah i forgot to show you guys the back let's have a look moment of truth there we go it's that boring i don't know it's still nice i would prefer if the green was maybe surrounding too and just give it a bit more color and a little taste you know but yeah never mind it's okay it's okay next up we have artist stamping now up the plate collection so i wonder if no maybe not <laughs> so this one here is kind of the main reason i went shopping in the first place i love this plate i love those little swirls going on the little gradients i just think it's just sick and i love the little words that they have on here i just think this one's really cool like very cool and you can create some really cool modern designs on this one so this one's called artist collection plate number 30 wow they've got a lot of plates in this collection so yeah this is what it looks like i think it's crazy cool and some of these were like two pounds so go grab yourself some once again a very simple boring little background but that's okay like i said what matters is what's on here <laughs> what kind of designs we can create next up we've got literature so this is one of those that i was also going crazy for so this is literature uh, plate number one and i love the words so i'm probably not gonna stamp or oh, well we'll see what i'll do but i doubt i'm ever gonna stamp like a full Whole, like little bit there but what i like i really want to get into like some words on my nails i've seen some really cool um ideas on instagram with just some words on the nails with some obviously other designs but some designs with incorporating some words so i thought this is perfect this one was one of those like two pound ones i think um and i can like literally just pick up maybe like the first two lines of this one and just stamp it onto a nail make it look really cool so um yeah that's kind of why i got it and you've got some really cool little faces there too and there's some little rings there and some little birds there too so you get a nice little variety here oh and the back looks like this once again simple but i guess it does give the idea of what the collection was from which is cool i do like that they do that even though it might be a boring design i do like that they do that at the back because that makes them kind of unique i don't think i've seen a different company do that um of course clear jelly has their logo at the back but no actual like design which is you know boring I, I like when there's a bit more going on so this one is the love is collection so i presume this was one of their valentine's collections this one is plate number 10 now this one's really cool too i love this one i love the hearts the little um arrows here i'm so sorry i just got very rudely interrupted because i just ran out of space i'm glad i noticed <laughs> so we're back to it now so um yeah where was i so with this plate i just think it's really cute i just feel like i love the designs i feel like they're one of those ones where you could just stamp on the nail just like on its own right in the middle and it would just look really cool so and i feel like also it gives you a lot of room for also coloring in on your like jelly as well once you stamp it which is really cool too and i think it's really cute so what's the back 
Now, this is what I'm talking about. I love this. I really like when it's just fully, like, designed up. So, yeah, matches very nicely with their little cardboard box, I guess, for it. Uh, okay, so we've got a bunch more. Next up, we've got Mexico. So, this is plate number 10. And this one is Mexico, but it's giving me kind of Christmassy vibes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just like it. I just really like the little patterns. And, yeah, you could probably get away with Christmas if you really wanted to. And, yeah, not really much to say here. It's just nice. And, once again, another fairly boring, just simple little lady on the front. Nothing much else to say on that one. Then we've got the Botanical Collection. We've got three here. Let me know which plate is your favourite. I probably would struggle to tell you which one was mine. <laughs> so this is the Botanical Collection, plate number 19. I love this. I just love how big those flowers are. Love. Especially, as you all probably know, I like to do my stiletto nail designs for you all. This is going to work perfectly. Get some butterflies in there too. And of course, some layered flowers too, which I think is very nice to have on the plate. We've got a little variety here. And when it comes to the Botanical Collection, the background looks stinking cute, just like it does for their little cardboard box. <laughs> it's not box, but their like cardboard little packaging, which is nice. So there's that one. We've got two more to look at. This is stamping plate number 10. I don't know if I mentioned this was 19. This one's 10. This one is basically a fully layered stamping plate. <clears throat> so we've got roses here mainly we do have some leaves and we have almost like little bush looking ones here too not much to say it's quite hard to kind of imagine what it could be i'm sorry if you guys can hear an ambulance in the background i will probably wait for it to go past all right it passed hopefully you can't hear it anymore so yeah it's one of those is kind of hard to look at and already see what you can create with it because it is layered and obviously looks a bit funny on the plate at the moment but yeah I'm, just, I'm quite excited to see what it looks like and of course the background is going to be identical so let's pop that one back so that was 10 this was 19 and we have number 11 here so this is the very last plate now guys will you if you survived this far well done <laughs> uh, do go grab yourself some movie london stuff i love them so here we've got another like layered plate so this is one of their most recent collections like this is not an old collection like this is fairly new so this is collection number 11 well plate number 11 same thing we do have quite a few little layered here and at the top and i love the butterfly oh the butterfly i love the big butterfly this kind of is giving me like cactus vibes this one here <laughs> and yeah just all around really nice plate i love it once again the background is the same i hope this kind of gives you guys a good guide of what's on there at the moment they have added way more there's like 16 pages in the sales section when i was buying all of these they were like four pages or five max so they have added a lot more on there so if you guys are interested do give them a little look and yeah so let me guys know in the comments what you liked from here um if anything at all and let me know if you guys are gonna go shopping because i did and i recommend you do as well probably not all of them but some of them are really nice i do absolutely love this one and this one and obviously these so yeah <laughs> sorry about the chat i feel like i'm a massive chat box today so i, get, I hope you guys are like this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hopefully i will see you all in my next video bye guys